Oh, he got red. This is a bot. I will say, I've never said this about his armor, but I really like the light gold detail here. I know, I've always appreciated it, but I've never said anything about it, but, uh... I like it. Cast fist. I think this is becoming legitimately problematic, Master. The Tyranids seem to have become more vicious and cunning after that giant beast appeared. Yes. No, you want me to order a focus of last cannon fire on this creature while it's just standing right there? Absolutely not! It is challenging me! And I will not let this power, this stain, insult my honor! Um, I think it might actually be taking advantage of our natural pride as humans to kill you yeah. and cut us off of your clan, Master! Yeah! Are you sure shouting such a thing is, uh, wise? Let me see power level! <laughs> the power level. <laughs> Oh well, at least it was over. Almost made another weird reference. Go through! <laughs> Ooh. Test by the scratch! The flinty, supple, flesh wound will stop me! <laughs> you fucking spindly dinosaur! <laughs> Only an amateur needs his arms to fight! <laughs> Are we doing Monty Don't Python here? Die. That yeah. was my favorite eye! That was my favorite leg! <laughs> Ooh. I am invincible! <laughs> the Ultramarines are always shining! <laughs> How at you! We love the Monty Python reference. Oh! Oof. Sorry, boys. Oh, bro. He's having a bad day. Uh, it's kind of a bad day, chat. <laughs> Is that so? So after your men were slaughtered, and you, almost literally, had your ass handed to you by the superior hive tyrant, known as the Squarelord, you then won. Instantly and without explanation. Yes, well, a couple of things happened. There were casualties such as loss of Ooh. the entire first company. First company. Emperor class battleship and a very, uh, very cool main player than I actually would like. <laughs> and this is, it was funny, I think this is one of the first things the Emperor talks about in the series. He's like, he, he did what? Very much. Well, thankfully, the spaceship sacrificed itself to allow victory. Sort of. But of course I, Kato Sicarius, was not <laughs> part of this, and thus survived! <laughs> we were wondering where Kato Sicarius was. Oh my gosh, we love it. We love him. Kato Sicarius! Lead <laughs> the chapter to a new glory, especially when I'll become chapter master! Sicarius, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing my phone? Now get off before I use your hand as a fucking broomstick! <laughs> <laughs> it would work very well. He seemed a little more depressed than our last meeting before the Tyrannic War. Yes. Strange, considering the vast amount of victories they had lately. <laughs> he 
he he now has ultra depression. Well, I suppose losing all of your honor guard and first company isn't really smiles and ice cream. Anyway, why did you call in to ask what happened? Everyone knows the Ultramarines won the Battle of Macrag nowadays. And every other fucking <laughs> battle since. They, they just keep winning, chat. Seriously, what the fuck? I just wanted to know what the key to their victory was, since I'm passing by Ultramar again. We need to keep records of any means we can use. Well, I mean, if you think of it, if the first company was gone, that's all their good stuff, and they keep winning. We all know there's a, a bit of a a little too much love for the Ultramarines. I'm not saying they're bad, but uh, there are definitely some people who like them a lot. That's for sure. <laughs> I think they, they are balanced out now, but they definitely was a time period where they got them. They're a little overpowered. Just a little bit. ...against these creatures. For example, I now have acknowledged that it is a bad idea to try and duel a 10 meter tall super bug dinosaur with mm -hmm. crystal swords and psychic power. But however, however, Dante didn't know that, but he did a really good job later on. <laughs> he, uh, he did a really good job. Uh, he, most people, I think, would know that it's a bad idea to duel a 10 meter tall super bug dinosaur with crystal swords and psychic powers. But, uh, you know, at least Dante, Dante didn't know that. So he just went in and did it. <laughs> it is, however, okay to make dreadful sacrifices in order to win against such relentless foes. Hmm. Perhaps I could declare exterminatus on a massive scale so I can kill planets before the Tyranids do, starving them of biomass and supply. Yeah. Dante yes, did that too. That sounds good. But it also sucks. Well, that's not the stupidest idea I've ever heard, except for the fact that the Ultra Smurfs didn't kill off the High Fleet entirely, did they? I highly doubt that any meaningful numbers of them survived. Uh -huh. Small tendrils of uh -huh. them, such as the Dagon High Fleet. But that one is way too far from here for us to be concerned. Moreover, the Ultramarines most likely hunted down the other remains for those last Most years. likely? Not confirmed? <laughs> Fair enough. E well, e I guess that means we don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> there it I is. Just had to open my mouth yeah, you shouldn't die. have said anything. Inquisitor, an alien fleet is targeting us. I think they have succeeded in breaching our vessel. Oh, your hose. Proceed with the usual defense tactics. Everyone who battles, stay on. It, it does sound like the Incredibles. What he must. We can question it later. Right now, it's time that I kick ass for the law. Yeah, get him, get him. <laughs> Long have I waited to slay the enemies of man once more. For the Emperor! What? Oh, come on! After all these years of administration shit and recalf making, we are finally faced with the most unlikely to flee enemy in the galaxy, and they flee! This is truly disturbing. First the return of Bohemoth, and now they run from us. Mm. Nope, 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 nope. Actually, Inquisitor, the entire Tyranid fleet is now retreating. I don't know what the fuck is going on anymore. An entire high fleet just fled from one ship? What in the Emperor's holy sock draw? No, it's going probably on? they found a better uh, target. Inquisitor, are you alright? There has been an attack and uh, Huh. Everything is alright. <laughs> the Tyranids threatening the ship are gone. For some reason. Yeah, for a moment, I almost thought I was actually going to do what I'm <laughs> fucking trained for. Someone knows why this oh happened. My gosh. They just came here to say hello, smell our ass cheeks, and leave. Pound. I, I guess that's a horrible way to put it, but yes, I guess. <laughs> fucking no, sir. Ruin Priest Volan, you are the strongest psyker in this vessel. Yes. Have you sensed any disturbance that could give us a clue? I sensed the shadow on the warp moments before they arrived, but mm. nothing else. So it doesn't give you that much of advance warning, at least when you're in a spaceship. Mm, who knows, maybe they ran off because I sensed the arrival of the Ultramary Sioux fleet. <laughs> Ultramary Sioux. Speaking yeah, of yeah, which, they're not wrong. what are they doing right now? You would believe they'd localize such a huge-ass threat as this in their own territory and destroy it. It's probably because we're not in the middle of their empire. 
We were already leaving its borders, and we are now pretty much out of it. This tendril was maybe escaping Ultramar. But why would the Ultramarines still be after them? They got were they not hunting down these foul Xenos savaged. with extreme prejudice? Hmm. You really believe such egomaniac pricks would bother defending the worlds beyond their own borders? Mm. Huh. I don't want to sound like an ass on this one, but you are one of them. I'll give you one guess on why I left them for Death Watch. <laughs> I understand what you mean. This was my doing. Bracken. What'd he do? Holy shit, he actually came out of his room to talk to people. Let me explain. I used something that I synthesized some time ago, but I never had the chance to test yes, it. Yes, do it, do it. Until now. I operated it to generate a psychic pulse of specific nature and frequency that repulsed the creatures. Ooh. A sort of anti-synapse, if you will. What in the actual fuck? How could that even be possible? Now this is good news. You will have to show me how this device works. Oh, I shall. But first, I suggest we hunt down this undefeated behemoth. Hmm, that's suspicious. As reports, it My guy. A dangerous size. Not as huge and devastating as the original, for sure, but still a primary threat. Of course. We will begin tracking it down. And once we spot it, we can ask help from the Ultramarines, who will probably be nearby, in order to vaporize the threat of Behemoth once and for all. Well, I suppose you all can go back to your, um, occupations. I need another cup of recaf. Anywho, time to contact the Ultramarines again. Chapter Master Marnius Augustus Kalgar, are you online? Well, there was fighting before he hung up. For all we know, they're busy training for the next time they accomplish <laughs> over the top bullshit. Or the shadow in the world. I suppose we'll have to stalk the tendril alone for Ooh. now. That does not sound good. And thus they traveled, bum, 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 bum. not knowing where exactly they were going. This horrid myopia was mostly due to the excessive fuckery caused by the so-called shadow in the warp. They were desperate to reach anyone through their communication systems. Until... And by the lack of penis he had, I found out this motherfucker was a lacrimal. So I punched him right in the groin, and he died. Oh, okay then. <laughs> what a story, Brother Linus. Ah, something. A thought. What? Just passed into my mind. Sudden flashback thingy, huh? Those things happen sometimes. I know some young wolf in my company. He may be less of an ass than the majority of us, but just mention his sister. And he just goes fucking berserk. No, no. I, I just received a message. From an outside force. I can't identify it exactly, but it was announcing they're coming. Any Ooh. ideas who or what? I can tell you this much. It was another librarian. This oh. has to come from another chapter of Astartes. Who dat? Who dat? We are surrounded by a space marine battle force wishing for a meeting. Well, you are independent enough to go settle this. In the meantime, I have more important uh. researches to do. Uh, huh? uh, okay, then. Uh, no. Well, they should arrive any second now. Our fifth guy isn't here with us. I know he's a loner, but he could at least- Wait, they're coming. I am Arthur Godfrey, captain of the Blood Raven's fourth company. Blood Raven? Mr. Steal Your Girl. And anything you own. That looks kinda cool. Go lock the reliquary. Well <laughs> hey, uh, you know, you should uh, lock that really fast. <laughs> well, this is a surprise. We weren't expecting your chapter specifically to be the one to greet us here. You have entered the subsector of Victoria. We would like to know your motives as an inquisitorial force. Oh? <laughs> it's mm -hmm. funny because we have. Linus, that's not important right now. Go ahead, Captain. We are back from defending one of these worlds from a rebellion, but we recently Oh no. There's a rebellion, that means the Tyranids were there, chat. That's bad news, that's very bad news. Located your arrival. Both of our ships are traveling in the same direction. 
and we were curious about your goals, as mm -hmm. might be of any assistance, since we currently have our hands free of any duties. Excellent. Of course, we're actually doing nothing special. Why won't you tell them? What is wrong? There is no need to be secretive of our goals on this occasion, surely. Yeah, why? And an extra force of Astartes is exactly what we need. Yes, but, well, I'm not so sure about these forces. He's being... What do you mean? He's being chapterist. He doesn't want them to steal your, their stuff. <laughs> he's like, mmm, no. Hmm. Has hanging around the Inquisitor this long damaged your trust in others that much? No, no, Voland. You don't understand. Just, just this once. Please, trust me. And don't... We are currently stalking a potential Xenoverse. <laughs> Most fine. Our forces will join you in whatever you are doing. But we won't question the specifics if you do not wish to tell us. Make the rest of us aware, Nicholas. Certainly, Captain. Uh... Welcome, then. And I thank you for offering to help. Oh, my God. But seriously, I think that we can deal with this issue by ourselves. Today! We shall bring reinforcements to the Holy Inquisitorial Death Watch. They need us. <laughs> Please forgive us for not giving much detail in the psychic message sent earlier. Our psychics had troubles trying to overcome some sort of ominous curse oh. preventing any outside communication. Ah, yes, the shadow in the wall. The best trolling weapon ever conceived by Xeno Minds. I will inform Krypton of this good news. <sighs> I will accompany you, Voland. Wilford, assure they return to their cruiser. <laughs> There's probably one that's already snuck off and is crawling through their vents. I'm shaking lots of tail with me, Jay. I just. <laughs> this is horrible this is i hate it we're gonna fast forward through this i don't want to read or hear or see any more of this oh are they ultramarines unfortunately no oh. hmm. well at the very least we still have some more forces for when we uh. face the alien menace any news on the high fleet's location according to our sensors the High Fleet's presence has faded away, but Saka sensed the shadow in the warp still. <laughs> as you can see. Actually, <laughs> yes, I still sense it as well. Which means they could be very near. Perhaps they are hiding somehow. Well, unless the entire High Fleet is grabbed behind an asteroid somewhere, I doubt it. <laughs> there isn't really very many places to hide in, you know, fucking space. I do not think they wish to confront us again after the use of Draken's device. It would potentially wipe us out in one good assault if they wanted to, but they flee still. That's what I thought as well. Although we have the Blood Ravens on our side, I think the fight would have been more evenly matched. Blood Ravens? Hmm, block the reliquary. Only done, sir. I still don't understand what you two are talking about. You will when you're older. I'm the eldest among us. We can say for among sure us. that this Victoria subsector I'm sorry. might be a primary target for the head of Tyranny fleet. Precisely, the hive world inhabiting its very heart. Victoria Primus. A hive world. Ooh. Perfect target for a tyrant yeah. fleet. Yeah, Tyranid fleets love Large, hive worlds. Highly populated. Because it's, it's super easy to, like, you can integrate that, like, you can infiltrate it really well with gene stealers. Because there's so, so many different things you can go. You could go into the Undercities and... Oh, darn, it's not going to get discovered. That's not good. So this means if they succeed to assimilate Victoria Primus... Then this tent row will become even more of a threat. Unacceptable. <sighs> Here we go again. Well, maybe I'll actually get to do my fucking job for once. Maybe. Well... I might have a specific tactic to prevent the planet from being assimilated. Completely destroy the planet. That's the tactic. <laughs> I don't need any mind reader ability to see what you mean, but wiping out a hive world is generally considered a terrible move. Yes. All the resources, the potential recruits, and human lives. 
you have the time to take a last one and the count, that is. Oh, of course. Do not worry, Ruined Priest. We do not even have the confirmation this planet is going to be assimilated anyways. Mm -hmm. We shall investigate the planet itself to detect any sign of infestation. I suppose it would be within reason for us to go with you, Inquisitor. <laughs> where did you come from? I knew it. I knew it. I knew he was going to pop up. <laughs> oh, I, I saw someone said earlier, what if Aurelia is the um the leader of the, the Blood Ravens? I am kind of sneaky like that. My favorite thing to do in the Discord server is to lurk. And I just lurk in on conversations. And when someone says something, I'll just pop in and comment on it. <laughs> just, just sneaking around. Um. Oh, the door was wide open. There are actually a bunch of nice people. I didn't let them in. <laughs> <sighs> and so, the Ordo Zeno send Blood Raven's forces that arrive on the hive world of Victoria Primus. Facing ruthless administrative complications oh, that guy. and stubborn resistance from the local population. Fortunately, with staunch bravery, an iron will, and uh, copious amounts of exterminatus threats, <laughs> they were granted the approval to investigate any nearby Xeno activity. Nice. Although I don't have any idea how we're supposed to check the planet for potential infestation or gene stealer cults. It's been so long since we've done our fucking jobs, I actually forgot how to do it. Going around interrogating people about an alien attack or abnormal vegetation growth? Yeah. Oh, you have to go into the what basement. What is that thing the purple little guy invented that worked before? Once we know the Tyranids are present. Oh yeah, Draken's device thingy. Thingy. And I'm sure that'll help. The Blood Ravens here can also aid us in this task. Very well, Inquisitor. I swear on it! Whoa, careful! I shall go Ooh. back to our ship in orbit, in case I would have to declare, you know. <laughs> I don't I don't want to be around in case, you know, I gotta declare that, uh, that exterminatus, so, you know, just a case. Your Inquisitor seems in desperate need of help. Rather surprising from someone within the <laughs> powerful Inquisition. Despite being cut off from any reinforcement, do you not have any means of your own to take care of this problem? Um... Let's just say we're not very... You can say it's one of the worst Inquisitorial forces. Well, this only happened when Watch Captain Pythoricus left the team to go on his crusades. Pythoricus. No, I personally don't miss him. Stand fast, Death Watch! We can handle a few gene stealers! Uh, 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 that's a lot. Oh, now there is a little Colosso falter into a handful of Xenos! But then again, he's from the chapter where Captain Scream like little girls at the scratch of a hand. <laughs> that is why you don't put a zealous fuckwit in command of one of the most pragmatic organizations in the Imperium. Although, to be fair, since he left, I've basically swapped from champion to recap dispenser. Oof. I even wonder why I still hold this fucking sword. He was pretty competent, Kalato. You were just victimized, that's different. It wasn't. No, I... oh, fuck. And at least you weren't as badly victimized as you were on Skitor. Thanks for reminding me about that. What happened there? Now I'm going to have to book in another session with the Mind Cleanser. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, we have suspicious reports from citizens. Oh, yes? Mm -hmm. A specific city claims to be the target of a very tall, murderous, yes. silent beast that sucks the brain out of its victims. Oh. That fits the description of Xenos to me. Yeah, that's pretty helpful. This creature. Do we have any further description? Well, we do have a portrait done by the local Arbites, but... Hmm... I believe it is possible that the fear of the witnesses made it rather... unreliable. Let's see it. Do show me. Here. Ugh. Oh. Hi. Oh. I'm getting too chivalrous for this shit. <laughs> oh, so the Death Watches. I... I suppose they will know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that's a lictor. <laughs> With boobs. <laughs> I don't know what the person was on when he was drawing this, but I sure as shit don't want any. Adieu. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Sounds like one hell of a party to me. <sighs> well, we better make Cryptman aware of this so he can use Dragon's thingy ma what's it to possibly force the High Fleet to not approach this world. Let's send a message to him. Aww. Aren't we going to the ship ourselves? Do you remember the last time we got to have some fresh air outside of Cryptman's flying <laughs> recaf party van? Party van, oh yeah, my let's gosh. let's hang out here some more. It's been too long since we had fun. You do realize there's a Tyranid fleet on its way here to eat the planet? And that's why we better enjoy it now. <sighs> oh. What did I just witness? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is horrible. <laughs> Lord Griptman, oh the Death my. Watch on Victoria Primus' surface are confirming Xeno presence that speaks of the first step of Tyranid infestation on the planet. They also request using... And I'm quoting them here, sir. Mm -hmm. The little purple guy's device. Very well. Oh, guys. <laughs> Dragon, Tyranids have been confirmed on this hive world. We need your... Dragon? Follow me, Acolyte. Whoa, where are we going? Dragon's room. Oh, really? no. It's the one place no. nobody is allowed to go. No. If he's not in his room... Then we will activate this Tyranid repulse of ourselves. Oh no. Him not responding is also unusual. It's gonna be so bad in there. I can already tell. Draken, are you in? Let us enter. Huh. This is the device. Stray. Man, whatever he has been doing, what? it looks like it's pretty nasty. I still don't get how you can trust this dragon guy. Never looked like the kind of person you trust, like an old friend, you know? I mean, who knows what kind of weird, creepy, secret shit he's been working it's on. It's a lot. Or the real secret would be himself. What? What do you mean? I wondered if he was a gene stealer. You, but you must promise me to let yourself be shot in the head after. Uh, maybe well, don't. Well, in that case, don't bother. Well, actually, making you aware of the existence of a secret already condemns you. You're dead anyway, man. So you are pretty much already dead. Yep. I can still answer your question, though, if you'd rather know. This is... discouraging. Okay, then. Go ahead. Might as well. What's this dragon guy's... Deal? Yeah, I think he's a gene stealer. The details of his identity and his recruitment in the Ordo Zeno have always remained classified. For many would consider this a blasphemy and sue me and my whole crew. Just sue you. I am unsure how other Inquisitors would react if I tell them one of my researchers is a Zeno Horrificus. Good thing he had that operation for his legs. What? What? You don't mean... He's a... Gene stealer? Oh, come now, human resource. Oh, he... That would not make any sense. Gene stealers are tyranny. By the emperor. What? What? What is it? What? I have been a fool. Uh, okay. Indeed, you have. Huh? This device repulsing the tyranids. It was all false, wasn't it? <laughs> Great password, but only to call from the hive mind. I have successfully found an evoke a long lost tendril of behemoth that I've been drifting aimlessly in the void of space, dormant for a century. I thank you, my lord. I thank you for allowing me to build this marvelous synapse synthesizer. Thanks to the sample of various tyrants you provided me after the Battle of Macrab. It is my masterwork. Made possible by my flawless infiltration. Infiltration? You have been fooled from the start of this adventure. Not all the turrets that attacked previously left the ship. I have oh. massed their direct presence with this device as they wait on board in the ship's darkest corner for the right oh, time. Oh, this strike. is bad, chat. This is and bad. You're only striking now. You could have done that from the start when Behemoth showed itself for the first time. And when we were- Oh, this is not good. Now the Astartes aren't on board, so they can't fight the Tyranids on the ship. Horribly outnumbered. Well, I was still intimidated by your policies. 
But I only gave away obvious information that any average intelligence human would have found out about us in due time anyway. But you have willingly brought us such a bountiful feast as this high world, so they shall not wait Tasty. much longer. That is yet another thing I can thank you for, Lord Crickman. <laughs> but why would you do that? You're with the Imperium! No, he's not. Emperor! He's just hiding. You sided with a gene stealer cult all along! We must set on the alarm! Gene stealers? Not quite! But if you are searching for those... ruh -ru Raggy. I should have known your kind was only good for extinction. My only regret now is that I won't be able to study further the link between you and them. <laughs> Mm. Enough being humiliated and used. I shall rise and once more assume my true nature. Do it, do it, do it. Not the lot, you son of a bitch. Oh. Clever girl. What? One shot. One kill. Death Watch, assemble! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the music is fire. By the Emperor. That was so refreshing. He is so happy. Yes, at fucking last. <laughs> I am reborn. I'm happy yes, for him. Good man, good this for you. This is what happens when you mess with the X-Men. You mean death. Yes. Yes. Oh my. We've actually survived? Ooh. I have indeed. But where is Draken? <laughs> he just killed him anyway. He just said, no, you're, you're done. You're done. You're done. I suppose he had the time to run away while we were busy fighting gene stealers. He couldn't have gone very far. How did you get back here in time? <sighs> Wait, what? Oh, uh, sorry. Um, well, mm -hmm. we received an emergency message from Cyrus, who perceived suspicious noises while he was staying on the ship during all this time. We also had doubts about the fact that you could have suddenly decided to use your <laughs> radical methods. Yeah, I wouldn't trust him either. Station and basically blow it up while we were still on there. Oh no, I would never send my precious death watches to a certain death. Who would make me wreak off them? Mm. <sighs> and back down we go. We purged the rest of the Xeno presences that had manifested themselves on the ship. Good job. This cruiser was a genuine insect hole. How did you get back in here again? Sneaky. We followed you. You didn't purge everything. Look there! Someone fired an emergency capsule. He's Oops. getting away! Get him, get him, get him. That's kind of- That's like ballsy of him. Unless he found a way to disable the guns, or he had enough people infiltrating the gunnery decks. Then, like, him launching himself into a pod. Like, that's just like a recipe for him to get shot. Huh. I wonder why he did that. Damn you, man. Rejoice while you can, but you will never withstand what is to come. Not even the ultramarines could have sent you. What the fuck? What? What am I looking? Uh. Um. Well, I'd say that that solves one of our problems. So it seems that Draken was a traitor all along. He got nommed. How is he related to the Tyranids? Nothing I can reveal you. Unless you accept to use the mind cleanser right after. Yeah. Well, he's dead anyway, <laughs> so it probably doesn't matter. Although, Man, I wanted to know. Now we have bigger problems. Quite literally. No good. Never give the hive mind time to grow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 